sensory functions, including vision, are necessary to maintain the quality of life, but those functions deteriorate due to diseases and aging. Retinal degenerative diseases are a leading cause of irreversible blindness and visual impairment affecting millions of people worldwide. The design of drug and cell delivery systems targeting the posterior segment of the eye in a less invasive manner is still challenging because of various anatomical and physiological barriers. Today, I would like to present a minimally invasive drug and cell delivery system for eye diseases and in particular for retinal diseases. If you target the back side of the eye, topical installation of eye drops doesn't help as retinal and pictorial bioability of drugs administered through this route is very low. Intravitreal injection of anti vg agent is currently the most common treatment for neovascular ocular diseases such as diabetic retinopathy and wet MD. However, as most retinal diseases are chronic, some issues remain including the high cost of drug and the need for frequent intraocular injections involving possible side effects. So far, several intraocular implants which are transplanted directly into the vitreous body have been developed. However, its installation is invasive can cause complications similar to those caused by intravitreal injections. Also, the removal procedure can be problematic. So, we spoke with various clinicians and made a drug release device consisting of a drug reservoir covered with a controlled release membrane, enabling unidirectional sustained drug release. Then, we focused on another route to effectively deliver drugs to the retina using periocular implants. The device can be implanted outside the eyeball at the scleral, as the implantation to the scleral is much safer than into the eyeball. Also, Immediate removal of the device is possible when an adverse effect is found. Most importantly, it allows local administration of drugs to the retina. This device is for human use and it's shaped according to the curvature of the eyeball. In addition, by suture fixing a part of the reservoir on the scleral, it's designed to be able to release the drug locally in the macula. The unoproston loaded device for treating retinitis pigmentosa is currently in clinical trials. Uh, recently, we have been investigating the use of polymeric now sheets as cell culture scaffolds. Its typical thickness is 10 to 100 nanometers and the size is hundreds of microns to centimeters. This kind of polymeric now sheet is highly flexible, unlike about polymeric films. So we came up with an idea that cells cultured on our sheet could be delivered to damaged areas in the body or subretinal space. The use of capillary needles allowed local delivery of the cell now sheet constructs into the subretinal space through the sclera in a minimally invasive manner. Uh, today, I talked about ophthalmologic applications, but we are also investigating the application of these systems to other diseases as minimally invasive therapeutics. Thank you for watching.